What is up, boys and girls, Cub family? It's your favorite staff, Jason, and I'm here again bringing you another really fun activity that you can do with just a few amount of supplies. So with me today, I have got my regular clear scotch tape. I have got a thick white piece of cardstock paper. I have got my black cutout of Mickey Mouse and I have got my squirt bottle with water and liquid water coloring in our water. So this activity, we're going to make a watercolor spray art craft with again, Mickey's head and this white piece of paper. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take Mickey's head and I'm going to put some of this tape on the back side and I'm gonna stick Mickey's head to my cardstock piece of paper. So let me get that done real quick. Uh, with this activity, I'm only going to be using one spray color, but I do recommend if you want maximum like coolness on your painting and your spray art that you use a couple different watercolors, but I only have access to one spray bottle, so that's why I'm only using one color. Uh, for your cutout, you don't have to use Mickey Mouse. You can use a cutout of whatever you want. It could be a cool shape, a cool logo. It is totally up to you. I just printed out a picture of Mickey's head and traced it. And then here I am with my Mickey Mouse cutout. I am putting a lot of tape on the back of Mickey's head because when I get to the point where I'm gonna spray my paper with my spray bottle with the watercolor in it, I don't want it to leak through and ruin the logo. So I am putting, I'm folding this tape over my finger and sticking it to the back so that I can stick it to my white cardstock paper. And I am putting a decent amount of tape on there so Mickey's head is nice and secure. And again, that watercolor is not supposed to leak on Mickey's head and where I want it to be. All right. Probably just a few more and Mickey's head should be nice and secure on my piece of paper. One right here. Right there, and we'll do one more down to the bottom edge just in case. All right. All right, so here we have it. This is the back of Mickey's head. He's got tape everywhere, and we're gonna go ahead and stick that side how I like it, right in the middle of the paper. Nice and secure down on my cardstock, and I want it pretty tight. Because again, I am not wanting any of that liquid watercolor to leak and get on the outline of my Mickey Mouse head. That would be not good for what we want. Okay, Mickey is on here, his little silhouette, and now I'm going to tape him down somewhere. And now we get into the really fun part, which is where I just get to go and spray Mickey with my liquid watercolor and water solution here. So I'm gonna back up. You do wanna use a decent amount of this liquid watercolor. You want the color to show on the paper. And so this is what it's gonna look like. We're gonna give it a few sprays. It's okay if we get it on Mickey's silhouette. That's totally fine. This is gonna be messy. It's fun, it's messy, it's crazy. So now I have got my cardstock nice and wet with my liquid coloring, liquid food coloring and water solution. And it looks crazy and cool. And sprayed on there in that color, that looks pretty sweet. And now I'm going to let this dry for me. And then when I'm done with that, I'm gonna take off Mickey's head and I'm gonna be left with a super cool Mickey Mouse imprinted piece of paper. So let me wait a little bit for this to dry. It doesn't take that long. It'll dry in a few minutes. You don't want to soak the paper, obviously, because then it's going to seep through and it's just going to be bad news and you're going to lose some of that texture that the spray bottle gives you. So, like I said, I do recommend maybe using a couple more colors. I only have this really cool pink color, but you can add some blues, some greens, whatever. More colors, I think, would make this look super duper cool. So that's my recommendation to you. If you have access to more than one spray bottle or you want to just clean out your spray bottle and use a different color, I do again recommend doing that. I'm kind of antsy. I want to rip this up, but I know it's wet, but I'm going to wait because it is drying. 
You can start to tell those smaller blotches will dry first. I'm just waiting right now for my big blotches of liquid food coloring to dry up. All right, let's see if I can get Mickey's head off here in one piece. Okay, Mickey's head's coming off. Again, I'm being careful around those edges because I don't want it leaking into my little shadow that I have here. I'm taking off the silhouette of Mickey. Nice and careful. Some of the tape came, some of it didn't. So now I'm gonna go ahead and move on to the tape. Getting the tape off. All right, looking good. There's a few more pieces of tape to go here and we've got ourselves a super cool watercolor spray art. All right, being careful. Not all this is dry. There we go. One more piece of tape. Come on now. Yeah. All righty, folks. We've got here, this will be our final product. Again, more colors make it look cool, but that white shadow with Mickey's head looks awesome. Thanks, guys.